It's our Forex blog for January 21st, 2014, and I'd like to showcase some of our uh, best ways of trading. These are our currency indexes, which let you see visually what each individual currency is doing. These are indexes that we've created ourselves, similar to the Dow Jones, S&P 500. Instead of comparing stocks, we're comparing all the dollar pairs, and you can visually see what it's doing. You can see the euros going up and the dollars going up. Uh, the pound and pretty much the yen is going up. You want to find a currency that's going up and buy it versus a currency that's going down. Before I show you that, let me just show you how some of our forex signals perform today. Um, I took this screenshot earlier in the day and then worked on some of the other pairs. Sell worked, win, or the buy here got stopped out, another loss, uh, win, pretty much a break even, loss, uh, two or three pip lo uh, loss in there, small win, small win loss. Uh, and again, most of these trades uh, are small wins that you could, if you're scalping, you know, you would, could have made a little bit of money on this and a few pips on this one as well. Uh, decent win, small loss, uh, two pip win, and that one actually turned into a big win. It doesn't show it on here. Let me showcase some of the other uh, currencies as well. Here's the pound dollar today. Uh, loss, small win, pretty much um, yeah, three or four pip loss. Uh, win, 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 decent win, decent win, huge win, uh, medium size win, loss, uh, five pip loss, and win. And uh, here's the euro yen. The euro yen pounding it a little bit harder to, to code, and I'm still working on that. You can see win here, loss, loss, very small loss, uh, small win, loss, 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 huge win, huge win loss, decent win, loss, uh, probably 4 pip loss, 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 uh, 8 or 10 pip win, 12, 15 pip win. Uh, you know, it basically netted a small profit today. But if you use this in combination with the currency indexes, you're going to do a lot better. For instance, the euro is kind of chopping around. You can see, you know, lower uh, highs right here. It made lower lows than before. Uh, and so 7.30 to 10 o'clock, if you're looking for the euro's weakness and the yen's strength, which we've used our currency indexes. Remember, 7.30 to 10. This is period right here. You can clearly see on the chart that the euro from 7.30 to 10 is going down. And here's the hourly moving average. It's underneath the point of control and it found resistance there. So actually from 6 o'clock on where you could be looking for cells in this. And the yen was trending down. It broke above its hourly moving average and it retested it here at 9 o'clock. Uh, it also is at the lower uh, perfect oscillator. Usually when they hit these levels you get a bounce just like the upper levels tend to cause a bounce the other direction as you can see here and here. Uh, the majority of the time upper 80 levels reverse, minus 80 levels reverse. You can see it worked every single time today except for uh, this time right here and uh, 10 o'clock it's at an extreme we can go forward in time and see uh, if it reversed from that point point. and you can see kind of it did and then it continued uh, and again it hit the 80 level right here and that was the high of the day you know oftentimes currencies are a very strong move in two waves the bigger the first wave uh, the more likely the second wave is to you know run out of steam but like I said the euro was weak from 7 to 10. The yen was relatively strong. The pound was much better than, than the uh, yen as far as strength. But from 7 to 10, if you focus on sell signals, uh, you know, you have a loss here. There was no sell signal here, but you could have sold that and made some money. And you have a big win, big win. And of course, big win as well, and you don't take the buy because the trend's down. So if you use the currency indexes with our signals, you're going to do a lot better. Is that it's just common sense actually? Um, the euro was weak, the pound was also strong. Let's take a look at that uh, from seven to ten. You're looking to sell the euro pound here's seven, sell down, sell you know, sell counter trend moves. Uh, in both those trades, uh, had very nice moves. So, you can use our forex signals, which uh, you know, we, we've been working on for a very long time and are improving them every single day. Uh, there's usually about 20 to 30 changes every single day that I make to these because I auto trade these signals myself. So I can't 
stand any trades that I wouldn't personally have taken myself and I try to do whatever I can to remove the bad trades while keeping the good ones. I take screenshots every day of every signal and compare it to the ones that work and ones that don't work and try to find uh, interesting and clever ways of uh, finding the good ones while eliminating the bad ones. And more and more recently I'm using time and Fibonacci uh, time extensions and such to avoid a ton of losses. So you will see dramatic improvements over the coming months. But this is a Forex blog for today. It's getting late today. It's almost uh, 10 o'clock and I'm done working for the day. And so I will uh, begin again tomorrow.